we are unexpectedly finding out the gender of our baby. We didn't know that it was going to be this early, but we ended up having the harmony test done and we are finding out here in 13 weeks and the midwife put it in this envelope and it took all of my self-control <laughs> to not open it to before not, we got home. Got thankfully home. she sealed it. <laughs> <laughs> to, and I had to go grocery shopping first too, so I had to go all the way to the grocery store and drive all the way home and not look. Were you holding it up to the light to see what was in it? <laughs> no, I was good. I kept it in my purse. I didn't touch it. Okay. It was really hard though. Normally we'd still have a couple months to wait. I know. I don't know why it's so hard to wait an extra half an hour. Because it's like once the information is right there, it's like... Okay. <sighs> anyway, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're thinking it is. I think it's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> and I'm not wrong. <laughs> it's a boy or a girl. Yeah, it's one or the other. <laughs> and I think it's 50% for each. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close anyway. When I first found out, my initial feeling was girl, but then this pregnancy has been the easiest pregnancy I have ever had in the first trimester. Like, I have had so little morning sickness, and according to the old wives' tale, that means boy, because when you're pregnant supposedly with girls and the extra female hormones, it makes you feel extra sick. And that was true with Sophie. I was more sick when I was pregnant with Sophie than I was with Alex. But this time I'm even less sick than I was with Alex. On the other hand, Alex is convinced it's gonna be a girl. Alex wants it to be a sister. <laughs> I think because he already likes having a little sister so much. He wants another one. He wants another one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. He doesn't wanna share his room. <laughs> I don't think he even knows about yeah, that. He doesn't know about that. <laughs> But we have one of each as it is, so we are genuinely happy either way. It's gonna so, be two to one no matter what, so. Yeah. And we were talking a little bit about the advantages. You know, there are advantages and disadvantages to having both. You know, if it's a boy, then, you know, there's more of an age gap between Alex and this one, which will probably mean less rivalry which will probably be a good thing because you and your brother are really close in age. Yeah. And you had a lot of rivalry. <laughs> yeah. So if it's a girl, there may be a little so bit more So there might be a little more rivalry with Sophie. with Sophie, but she's such a sweet, tender-hearted little girl. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that won't be an issue with her. But it might be. I mean, it's hard to say. When the baby starts getting attention, yeah. she doesn't. Yeah. She's no longer the littlest and cutest one. Uh-huh. <laughs> But at the same time, like, Sophie eventually, if she has a sister that's close in age, like, in the long run, they would be really close. Probably. That's the, the hope. But either way, they'll have to share a room. So I guess we're going to find out which, which is going to Who's going to have to share. Yep. Who's going to have to share. <laughs> yep. And like we were saying, we'd probably if it was a girl, Sophie would be the one who would transition to sharing a room easily. <laughs> she just deals she's with just, change yeah, more easily. Yeah, she's a go-with-the-flow kind of girl, whereas Alex has trouble with change. So, I mean, he'd get used to it, but eventually, yeah, it would be a struggle at first. So, there are advantages and disadvantages both ways, and we'll be happy either way. All right, let's open it. Are you nervous? No, I mean, a little I'm, bit. I'm, I'm just curious. Dun, dun, dun. Done. Drum roll, please. Okay. What does it say? It is a boy. Boy. Cletus the fetus is back on the table. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to call it that if it was a girl. <laughs> There's a story here. <laughs> so we've been trying to come up with nicknames for this baby. And I was looking at, you know, nicknames for baby bumps and all that online just for ideas, and I saw this one that was Cletus the Fetus. Because <laughs> that's, that's the only thing that rhymes with fetus. <laughs> and it's kind of stuck, but 
I don't know. I think we can we can still stick with Bam Bam. Bam Bam is fitting of a little boy too. I, uh -huh. I really don't want to call our baby Cletus the fetus. <laughs> well, the good news is it won't be called that after birth because it will no longer be a fetus. He will no longer be a fetus. He. <laughs> so what do you think? Boy, girl, boy. Yep. So we're gonna have to try for another to get another girl. <laughs> Might end up with three boys if we did that. That's true. That's true. I don't know. This will, this will probably be the last one. I'm thinking this probably. this little boy will probably complete our family. It's a relief to know. I was a little surprised. I, I, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a girl just a little bit, but. Really? Why? No reason. Just a feeling. I was just guessing. Yeah. I mean, just. Primarily with how I've been feeling, I was thinking, boy, so far for me, this has been true, that the sicker I feel, then it's more likely to be a girl. Oh, and I see we have a less than 1 in 10,000 probability of extra chromosomes. Oh. That's, that's probably the real reason they run the test. Well, yes, this is a genetic test. That's the main reason they do this, so you don't have to do the, uh, the nuchal translucency. I don't think test. they're actually reading genes, they're just looking at the shapes of chromosomes and saying, oh, here's, we're looking at the chemical registrations of chromosomes right. and saying, right. there's this much of each chromosome and, oh yeah, there's a Y chromosome. Right. So uh, is it only for trisomy 21, 18, and 13? It looks like those are the only ones they test. My guess would be because trisomy of other chromosomes uh, is 100% non-viable. Down syndrome. I think that's 21. Good check. So that's 21. I believe so. I see. Double check. We jump. Double check that. But okay. Um, I believe those are the three where there can be an extra one and the baby can survive. Right. All right. Well, so we know. Baby seems healthy. Yeah. As baby far as is. We can tell. And that's that's the most important thing. Yeah. Actually, that was more important than the boy or girl. <laughs> I don't know yes. why would, if I'd known that other stuff was on there, I would have been much more nervous. You didn't know? I, I, would, I don't know about I didn't know if they were going to put that information on here or if they were just going to write male or female on the paper. It looks like it's They the give whole us thing. the whole test result, so that's a pleasant surprise, too, to find out. So far, things are looking really healthy. Yep. We have a healthy baby boy cooking in there. I guess you're, the old wives were right. The old wives were right. <laughs> When are you going to start considering yourself an old wife? <laughs> I'm not, not implying anything, I'm just wondering. You're not implying anything, huh? I guess you don't have enough gray hairs for you to really be an old wife yet. I would consider myself an old wife after, have, after having babies, maybe. Okay. When my childbearing years are over and done. So, in a few months then. It's a good thing I know your sense of humor and don't take these things personally. <laughs> that means that you set means, yourself up for that one. That means that you're gonna be an old husband. Yeah, unfortunately we don't get to tell special stories when we get old. There's no such thing as an old husband's tale. There's just grumpy old farts complaining and saying, get off my lawn! <laughs> well, you're gonna be a grumpy old fart then in six months. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, there is our news. It is a boy. We were going to be happy either way. So now we know. Now we know. Now we can plan. Now we can come up with a name. Now we can get rid of all the girl stuff. Yeah, Sophia grows it. Yeah. And then once we're done with the baby stuff, we can... I'm going to have to think about how to build a bunk on that ledge. Because that's going to be Alex's bunk, probably. Yeah. Them having a four and a half year age gap they'll probably be, I mean, they won't be as likely to be rivals and they might be close. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Little Bam Bam's probably gonna be getting into Alex's things and Alex won't like that. <laughs> yeah, but Alex really loves babies. Yeah. He's gonna be disappointed though that it's not a sister. <laughs> we'll take a video of telling the kids too. See if Alex cries. Uh-huh. I think he just, he, I think he just wants a sister because he likes having a sister so much now. But I think he'll soon find out that he'll like having a little brother too. He can teach him all the things. Yep. <laughs> hey Alex, I have something for you to read here. 
Let's see. Right. What does this say, Alex? Boy. Boy. Why do you think that says boy? Do you know what this says? It's. It's a boy. So. And that's an exclamation point. Yes. I have to raise the exclamation point. Alex, do you know what this is talking about? It's not talking about you. Who do you think boy is referring to? Who do you think is a boy? I'm a boy. I'm a boy. You're a boy. And Sophie is a girl. And who do you think is also a boy? Daddy is also a boy. <laughs> Maybe we might need to spell it out. But what do you think the baby in mommy's tummy is? Girl. Why do you think it's a girl? It isn't a boy because it's a girl. <laughs> what makes you think it's a girl? Because it's still small. But when the baby grows up, she will be a mommy girl. <laughs> but what if we told you that the baby is a boy? No, the mommy. baby's not a boy. Well, mommy. you know what? We found baby. out today. Yeah, we found out. Sophie and Alex, you're going to have a little brother. Let's show everyone what this says. Boy! Boy! <laughs> it's a boy! Holding. Yeah! You're going to have a little brother, Alex. What do you think? That says it's a boy because the baby in mommy's tummy is a boy. Shit, Yeah, you're the, and you're going to be the only sister, Sophie. I, Sophie, shit, Sophie is the sister, and you're going to have... Part two, part three, you are Happy. 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 Alex, I'm are you happy it's now? a boy now? Are you happy it's a Alex. <laughs> it's an Alex. <laughs> but Alex, the baby in here, in mommy's tummy, is a boy. It's going to be a little brother. I'm racing with the word boy. Sophie, are you happy that it's going to be a little boy? Yeah, you get to have an older brother and a younger brother, Sophie. I don't think they get it. <laughs> Alex, are you happy that it's a boy? No, I, I, Daddy, I say it's a girl. But it's a boy. No, we it's know. a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. We know for sure it's a boy. Are you excited to have a little brother now, too? It's a boy. It's a boy. That's right. All right. All right. There's our news. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next video. Somebody's been going to the Donald Trump School of the Facts.